look, ladies and gentlemen, to see how these teams are going to populate. So for Triple X, we've got Gdansk, Tromp, Groz, Napoli, Salem, Gudin, Petro, Montana, and Ohio. For the side of Ruff, we've got Gearing, Legemont Gearing, Legemont Gearing, Marceau, Marseille, Petro, Legemont Des Moines, Give me freedom. Manitar, Give me death. Kremlin, and Montana. So we'll see how they put them out here. Now the Tromp's an interesting choice. Tromp gives you those airdrops at 13 kilometers, which are definitely valuable to have sometimes. Um, but not necessarily always accurate. And you do give up a fair amount for them. So if we look at this Tromp here, uh, where is he? We look at the Tromp, you gotta remember. So you get the speed boost, you get the defensive air, but you have no smoke, you have no heal, you have no hydro, you have no radar. So... It can be danger. Now, you do have a 6.6 .6 kilometer detect, which you're going to out-detect the Marceau, but not the Gearings. But this this is going to be interesting. We're going to keep an eye, because I think that's going to be a potential deciding factor. And so as we continue to move, look out here. Petro Radar will spot the Marceau. Marceau is trying not to leave the cap. Here comes the Gdansk. Gdansk will open up right back, or, or Marceau will open up right back onto Gdansk. Early advantage definitely goes in terms of damage dealt. The Marceau's favor, but... It gets responded back to fairly well. He's down to 18k. He is on fire. He has no DCP, so that's actually a full-length uh, fire. And he's still spotted right now. He is still spotted. So, he's trying to get dark. He just gets dark, but he's already lost over 10,000 health. So that's a big loss for the Marceau. You, yes, you take the 7k off of the steel... Dragoon, but for buff enterprise, you've lost 12,000 health there Heavy push coming from rough towards a they got five ships over there now I mean admittedly captain lager and the petro is gonna possibly turn in here But you're putting a lot of force out there to take a C is down to just two ships and nobody is trying to take B after the Marceau fail early on to take it successfully And so as it continues to move, <clears throat> we'll track... Ooh, Gdansk takes the Torp and the Petro Radar. Steel Dragoon might be first blood here. He gets deleted by Ledger. The Torp hits, ladies and gentlemen. The long-range gearing Torp hits, and then the Captain finishes him off. And that is a major loss for the side of Triple X. Torps aren't going to hit the Minotaur gearing over here, but like I said, you lo just lost your good dance. Now the Marceau gets an uncontested find to be, and now the Trump gets to do what the Trumps wanted to do. Which is start to drop uh, airstrikes. He doesn't hit the Kremlin there, but the Trump can continue to every so often just put the harass out there. And so Ruff is only up a little bit of health, but keep an eye, this Salem of Spruce now becomes the focus target for this flank out here. Des Moines of Monaus Keel is just going to sit in there. The Marseille of Kadir is just going to back up. And they're going to be able to just farm him. 
if they want. Like, there comes the Marseille, and remember, yes, he has a heal, this is all healable, but it's still, you don't want to lose it this early. And you're being locked onto that island because the battleships have angle if you back up. Good and Lu airstrikes gonna be sent out, not gonna hit. But yeah, so there's another fire. There's the DCP force. Spruce uses the heal. But he's down to 40k after the heal. 37 actually. And he finally gets dark. So, cap look. Marceau taking B. He is not spotted right now, so he's gonna take B. C has been finally capped. So, not really a lot going on out there. So, goes to a seven and a half minute take time for the side of Ruff. Torps are going to go in here and they are going to hit the Kremlin. Kremlin takes one. Kremlin takes two. Kremlin down to half health and the heal over. The only advantage there is that he had the DCP going on, so he's not flooding. But the Ohio is going to come forward and Legend is not feeling good right now. Radar will spot the Trump, but they can't do anything about him. But like I said, I think the focus for them is on the Salem and saying Des Moines and Marseille want to wreck the Salem out. Salem does have a he a, a DCP, but I think they just want to... Yeah, I mean, look at that Marseille every time he hits him. Big chunks. The heal comes in 12. He'll get the heal. But if they set him on fire and there's there it is, that'll be a bit of a counter to the heal. He'll pop the heal here right in a second. He has to move forward again. He hasn't popped the heal yet. He pops the heal now. It's gonna help, but he's on a lot of fire here. And that heal is... It's not being negated because it's such a super heal. But he is in trouble. He is in deep trouble. Like, down to 9,000. There's the uh, heal done. He'll have the... DCP in a sec. He's down to 700. He's gone. And so Ruff gets their second kill. They're now up by... Tw Actually, no. Pardon me. They're down by 26,000. That Kremlin taking a lot of damage. I mean, he's healing, but they are down. Guden of Duoden takes a little bit of damage. And so, I mean, the health is basically the same. We can see the challenge here. The Ohio wants to move up because they want to force this Des Moines. Oh, and he gets a massive hit on Moynau's keel. Um, they want to force this Des Moines and Marseille out. And they're doing a good job of it for now. The problem is you have to get that Kremlin out of there because you got the Kremlin and the Marceau just sitting back there. And they get the shots, they get the fire on the Kremlin, but they got the Kremlin just sitting back there. There's the DCP. Really good timing on it, even though he takes another 5k. But he is preventing the Ohio from getting to the position the Ohio wants to be because if the Ohio goes too far forward, he'll just get citadeled. 5k more off them. The Tromp opens up on the Marceau. And now shots out on the Trump. Remember, Trump can't smoke. He can't do anything. He's just spotted for 20 seconds. Yeah, this, this Trump of uh, Itta Mert is in danger. Petro of Ruff pushes through, but watch. Here comes the Gudin flanking behind. If the Montana doesn't kill the Gudin, Gudin's going to have a nice angle on him. And if the Napoli gets up, that could be Captain Liger just pinned in. Only 3k on the first shot. Gotta feel brutal. Napoli moves in. They want to kill this Petro. Liger may have been off more he can chew. The Ohio, though, as talked about, may have been off more than he can chew as well. Ohio using the heal, but he's just getting absolutely murdered. And I think they've accepted they're sacking him to try to get win elsewhere. Down to 11,000... There's the Torps. Liger does not go down. Critical misstep there. The Ohio of Fabio goes down. We knew that was. 
but the Torps don't kill Liger, and how much damage does Liger get now? Okay, Guden of Duo does finish him off, but they're still down two ships and 300 points. Can Triple X find their way in? Now, they do have the cap advantage, which means they are in position to win by 30 seconds. This is going to be a tight one. Grozovoy getting farmed by the Minnow. Grozovoy getting really farmed by the Minnow. Like, Grozovoy has a heal left, but he is taking a lot of damage here. And I don't know what his plan is. Like, if he doesn't pay attention... Yeah, there we go. He finally starts to turn out. But seriously, down to 4,000. The heal comes in. He'll heal up. He's getting a lot on the gearing. The gearing's just playing the trying to get dark game. The Grozovoy takes a huge amount of damage for that trade. And if you don't finish it, it's not worth it, in my opinion. Torp will just miss the Kremlin. Trump down to 555. So like I said, the Grozovoy, yeah, he has a heal left, but he's down to 7,000. And this Montana's also got a ton of Torps coming at him. Looks like he shouldn't take too much, though. He'll take one, maybe three. Depends on these two right here. Takes that one, and yeah, he'll take two more. But still, that's only 12, and that's another 11. So it's a good hit, but he's got the heal going. Which will negate a lot of the helpfulness. Montana of Muggy Cat being worked down. Now, with the A cap being contested again... And this is a lead for rough. Gudin trying to get the kill on the Kremlin, but Kremlin's set up for the broadsides. Kremlin doesn't have a heal left, though. Trump goes down to rough. There goes the Gudin. That, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe the coup de gras. Kremlin doesn't have DCP, so Kremlin goes down. A little bit of insult to injury there. The Trump gets that turn, but it's just you're still down over two. You have more than two times the ships you have facing you. Your only hope is the cap situation. Because you have forced them back on the caps. Montana of uh, Renault, RN Roma takes the shots. Grozovoy fighting the Minotaur. Grozovoy, you already saw how this went once. Uh, I mean, I, you're doing the right thing in getting past the spot where it can hit you, but you're down to 3,000, and that's the no heal point. Two minutes until Rough wins. Rough looking to finish out the Montana, ladies and gentlemen. They're in a prime spot. They are in a prime spot. They get the Grozovoy, and ladies and gentlemen, the Montana will take the Torp there. He will go down, and that will guarantee it. Ruff will win this game. They will continue to cement their place at the top of group, uh, their group, while XXX is going to be just... He's not quite eliminated yet, looking at group results, but they're very close to being eliminated from moving on. And here comes the Torps on the Napoli. Napoli goes down. He would have taken the Torps anyway. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Ruff over Triple X. We still